Pleased to be joined by head coach of the South Plains College Track and Field Program, Mr. Eric Vance, assistant coach Frank Barker. Coach Vance, we'll lead off with you. Uh, you're running just down the road this week, uh, quote-unquote home meet. Talk about uh, where you're running and uh, some of the things you're looking forward to. Well, uh, we'll run Friday morning. Uh, men's race is at 8.30, I believe. Yep. Women's race is at 9. Uh, we're running at LCU. It's Texas Tech host of the meet. It's the uh, former LCU golf course. I guess it was Chaparral Ridge, I think is what it was called. Um, that has been converted to a full-time cross-country course. Really, really solid course. Uh, Coach Cordes over at LSU. Uh, LSU. LCU Close enough. <laughs> does a good job with that. Uh, does a good job setting up a really good course out there. And uh, so we're excited to be able to run, you know, 30 minutes from home. It's uh, one of two opportunities that we've got uh, this season that are mm -hmm. real close to us. And uh, should be a really, really solid uh, competition. There's some really good teams. Wayland Baptist will be over there. Um, it seems like we see New Mexico Junior College every week, and they have some solid women. Um, Texas Tech will, will have some of their kids out there. LCU has a good squad. So I really look forward to uh, seeing what our kids do when, when they're put out there in a little bit bigger meet, um, mm -hmm. more numbers, uh, you know, some, some high-level competition. So I, I'm excited to see what, what our kids can do in a situation like that. Yeah. Coach Barker, you got a week one last week on a tough course down in Snyder. Uh, you know, a little weather conditions, but not too bad. Talk about uh, some of the things you saw that you liked and uh, some of the things you'd like to see improvement on. Okay. First of all, I like the way the kids competed. They got out there. I mean, from top to bottom, they all raced well. Um, as far as what I'd like to see improvement, even on the on both the men's and the women's side, but there's too much space between our runners, uh, too much space between two and three, three and four, and so on. I'd like to see those gaps tighten down, you know, uh, close up on our front runners and uh, you know a, a, a meet like last week where there's a few very few teams there that was okay but you get into a big meet and you get spread out like that and you get a lot of people in between you and it changes the score dramatically so we need to kind of shore up along that side but you know as far as the way the kids ran and everything I was really tickled to death with them yeah uh, freshman on the men's side obviously came out and, and uh, put on quite a performance obviously your women's side is a whole new group kind of talk about the things you've seen uh, from those young faces, uh, how, how they've handled uh, ha jumping to the collegiate level? I would have to say that prior to the race, the ladies were nervous. That's the best way I can put it. One of them told me she thought her heart was in her mouth and she was going to explode at any minute. And I said, why? And she's, well, I'm nervous. And I said, just another race. You know, let's get after it. But you know, all that, having said that and everything, uh, when they got ready to run, they ran well. You know, I mean, I can't uh, complain about that. The, the conditions were, as you said, not very good. Uh, you know, we walked cross field and I was about six inches taller when I started, you know, and then, uh, you know, and the kids, uh, we had one girl fall down. She was running really well at the time and she worked her way back up into it. So showed her competitive spirit, you know, and uh, I think things, I like the way these kids are working together. They're getting their real camaraderie, they're getting together, they're uh, starting to gel as a team, look at each other and, you know, they kind of bounce off each other and figure out where they're going. Of course, you come back on the men's side with the experienced team we have and a couple of freshmen sprinkled in, you know, I wanted a solid performance out of them, that's what we got. Yeah. Coach Vance, we kind of piggyback on that, some of your thoughts on, on the new faces and uh, obviously your veteran group on the men's side. Well, our, our veteran group on the men's side, they, they did what we expected them to do. They looked good. Uh, you know, they did a really good job this summer of training. Um, they're fit. I think we're a lot further along at this point last year for sure than what we were um, at this point last year. Um, new guys, you know, you never know what you're going to get out of, of new guys and, and girls at their, at their first meet. You never know how they're going to respond, especially on the guys' side, because they're going to do a longer distance than they've probably ever run uh, competitively. You know, most of those guys are going to be running 5K in high school or maybe even just three miles. And then they're turning around and they're running 8K, so they're running another full mile. Um, but, you know, Alex is a, is a kind of kid that that's what we brought him here to do was, was to be our number one. And, and he's right there. And um, Jafet, our other new guy on the, uh, you know, men's side, he, he ran well. He got, a, got himself up in the top five, which for a guy that we really brought in as an 800 specialist. For him to be a, a top five kid for us in cross country and to run the times he did, we were really, really excited. Uh, that women's group, man, they're, they're going to be tough to contend with over the next next two years because I was impressed with how they started. Um, they all push each other. They train hard. They, they get after it. Man, I mean, really, at the end of the day, 
what probably impressed me with that group more than anything is those girls, they just, they grind through workouts, they grind in meets, like they're always just, it just seems like they're just continuing to work and work and work and work, which uh, sometimes when you get first year uh, freshmen on the women's team, they kind of get overwhelmed a little bit by just the volume of what they're doing or, you know, the difficulty of what they're doing in that group, man, it just seems like you can keep throwing stuff at them and they just keep hammering along no matter what. So. I'm excited about both groups. The newcomers, I really think, uh, on the men's side, are a really good complement to what we brought back. Um, on the women's side, you know, that's that's a team that's going to be a lot of fun for, for two years. So I'm excited the fact that they're all that young. Um, we can have them all. You know, I know I've got we've got a lot of cross country and a lot of track left, uh, you know, to run with them. So it's exciting, you know, to know, well, this is where we're starting. Imagine where they'll be at the end of two years here. Yeah. Coach Barker, any final thoughts on this one? No, that's exact. I mean, I agree with him 100%. They are a fun group, and they, they do work hard. The next two years are going to be great, and this year is going to be pretty good, too. I think the women are going to surprise a lot of people where they get to. I really do. Our men, they just keep on going what they're doing. I think they're going to be a contender. Yeah. Coach Vance, any final thoughts? Come see us run. This is a, this is a great meet. Um, it'd be a good cross country meet. Weather's nice. Uh, you know, no rain in the forecast. So I think we'll have a really good uh, meet put on Friday morning. Um, you know, it's an easy easy place to get to. Um, get out there and see what what'll be one of the best you know cross country meets in the area. I think on the year, like it's really going to be a good meet. I think there's a really good field, um, and get to see see our kids and some other other kids as well. I mean, we'll have some some alumni actually running in the race. Uh, with us too so it, it ought to be fun yeah. so come out and see us like i said men at 8 30 women at nine right there at lcu and uh get to see some good cross country hey coaches thanks for your time uh full preview results and recap spctexans.com good luck coaches thank you yep.